Hello YouTube, D. Baudry here. So this is a Gearlight S2500 flashlight. All right, first thing I want to show you, and I'll shine a flashlight in here so you can get a better perspective. Yeah, that back wall is about two millimeters thick. The ad on Amazon says that it will persevere through getting driven over by a truck. Um, okay, sure, if you put the flashlight on a mattress and then you drive over it with a very, very light truck, maybe, that'll happen. The, uh, the LED is hidden behind this cheap acrylic dome, had an O-ring on it, and then that was all retained by this ring. All right, the uh, tail cap, a little springy button in it, so that's kind of cool. And here's your button. The uh, battery pack is here, so this is pretty nicely made. This is all ABS plastic, but it's not chintzy, it's not too flimsy. You know, the uh, two end caps are screwed on, and you get a springy button in the front. So, you know, that part's reasonably made, but, you know, it's still six AA batteries. Why didn't they just skin that thing down and instead run it off of a single 18650? All right. Uh, the box. Let me scoot some stuff out of the way. So here is the box. None of the things on the box anywhere, and I'll just quickly go over that so you can see it for yourself real quick. Nowhere on this box does it say Cree or XHP50 or anything like that. In fact, um, if I remember right, yeah, it doesn't even say how bright it is. So there's not even anything on this box that says 1500 lumens or anything like that. Okay, here is the warranty card. Put that bad boy over. Here is the manual. Front and back, inside. Nowhere in there does it say XHP50 or 1500 lumens. <clears throat> so these are all things that are making me highly skeptical about this. And I'm gonna put some light on that. So here's another flashlight shining on that LED. Okay, so first thing I want you to notice is the rings. So a real Cree LED won't have those and I'm gonna get in even closer uh, and the camera will do this. And well within its ability to focus. Oh come on, if it'll do it. Focus, focus. Anyway you can see those nice rings in there. So that's in the dome. I don't know how you can see that, but that is a mighty tall dome. Uh, I would say probably 30% taller than a real Cree dome. And then also look inside the LED. So uh, an XHP70 is essentially four XML2 elements underneath the same dome. And an XHP50 is four XPL elements under the same dome and you should easily be able to see the four LED elements inside there and all you can see is that nice ring pattern because um, well <laughs> the Cree LED doesn't have that uh, but you can't see the four segments in there this is not and if I can get it nice and close and the damn camera will focus on it give it a second here hey there we go yeah, you can see a nice ring pattern, but there is no elements inside there. Uh, okay, there's no dimpling, I'll give it that. Uh, like most Cree LED, or sorry, like most Chinese LEDs have, you'll see like this little grid pattern of little tiny dots or dimples in the surface of the four elements. And you don't have that, but you also don't have four elements either. So, uh, I would say this is definitely not a Cree XHP50. This is a Chinese LED. Um, they have improved a little bit because probably somebody out there has realized that, oh hey, you know, if we're gonna fake Cree LEDs, then we gotta at least make it look like we got something. Yeah, you can see that uh, that ring pattern in the surface of the dome. Yeah, there we go. You can see it in the surface of the dome. Then you can see the pattern it makes down below on the LED element. So, yeah, China at least figured that one out. They've got a you know, get that dimpling out of their LED element. But there is also not four elements in there. This is not an XHP50. It's just not. 
is a Chinese fake and you certainly don't get that uh, Fresnel lens, Fresnel lens effect in the dome from a real Cree LED. Uh, yeah, this is a Chinese LED. Not that I was expecting anything else because, geez, <clears throat> let's look at the ad on Amazon. So that we're not like making anything up. You can see same thing I'm looking at. As soon as the camera decides it's going to focus. There we go. First thing I want you to see, January 17th, 2021. That's when I bought this flashlight. So it says right there. So that's 2500, 1500 lumen flashlights. Yeah, somebody can't spell. Um, $18.99. Says right here. Shockingly bright with 1500 real lumens. Um, I would say they're not even fake lumens. The uh, legitimate Cree XHP 50.2. This is the latest Cree um, tech uh, for the 50.2 LEDs. The best they do is 1140 lumens, not 1500. Uh, and that's the best of the XHP 50s, which this isn't. Also, you see down here powered by an XHP 50 LED. Well, I would say that's accurate, a Chinese XHP 50. But is it a legit Cree one? No. And, and honestly, uh, originally, when I bought this flashlight, this text has been edited since then. I can't prove it now, but uh, it said right here, powered by a Cree XHP50 LED. Oops, my computer went to sleep. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, eight hours of continuous runtime. This changed too, by the way. Uh, no fancy lithium battery that was in there. Uh, 50 or S2500 is one of the brightest flashlights on the market. Yap, yap, yap. Uh, running off of 6AA cells, I'm going to say, yeah, um, you can't be the brightest among the brightest on the market and run off of 6 AA's. That's just not going to happen. It, makes, it needs a lot more current than that. Okay, so it's done here. Producing 8 plus hours of continuous run time on low. This has changed from where it was originally. It didn't say that. It just said producing 8 plus hours of continuous run time. Yeah, um, yeah, somebody got in here because uh, somebody bitched about what their ad says uh, and said, dude, this is completely misleading. You don't have a legit Cree LED. Uh, you know, the flashlight doesn't run for eight plus hours off of six AA batteries, <clears throat> so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, built to defy weather. I would say, yeah, if you get it rained on, it'll probably be okay. Um, but it says here, this LED flashlight is so unbelievable, durable, unbelievably durable, you wouldn't be able to break it even if you tried. I'm pretty sure without very much trouble at all, I'll be able to break this flashlight. Milled from heavy duty military grade aluminum. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's 25, has an IPX4 water resistant and shockproof structure that can withstand rain, snow, hurricanes, or any other natural disasters. The only light you'll ever need. Uh-huh, okay. The S2500 has every feature you could possibly need, including three lighting modes, high, low, and wide to narrow beam twistable zoom. From walking your dog to lighting off, to fighting off bears. Wow, this thing will fight off bears. I'm impressed. This torch will be there to assist you in both the simplest and wildest situations. Can you say marketing hype? <laughs> Buy with confidence. The S2500 has been test dropped from a second story building, I'm gonna guess onto a mattress. Uh, run over by a truck, uh, yeah, the flashlight was laying on the mattress when I got run over by the truck, and it was probably a little dinky t Nissan pickup or something, and fully submerged underwater, yeah, for about three seconds, and has persevered through it all. Oh my God, really? I don't believe you. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna say, uh, a $19 flashlight, $18.99, uh, legit Cree XHP50, Running off of 6 AA cells, uh, by the way, the XHP50 needs way heck more current than what 6 AA batteries can produce. Yeah, this is not a legit Cree XHP50, and in fact, they've changed their ad so that that is now missing. So, I just want to say, hey buddy, um, yeah, you got robbed. This is not a legit Cree LED in there. Sorry. It is everything that I thought it would be, a Chinese flashlight. So I think that's it. Uh, this is Debaudry saying, hey guys, bring me some more flashlight challenges because so far you have yet to present me a Chinese flashlight with some epic specs that was in fact a legit Cree LED in it. Sorry, <laughs> you just have it. <clears throat> They're not as good. And I can tell you for a fact, because I've ran this one, um, yeah, it's a fairly bright flashlight, but is it as bright as you know a legit Cree XHP50? Well, no. 
course it's not. Not even close. You know, it's a Chinese LED. It's not even a, you know, Cree. So, of course it's not as bright. All right, guys. Yeah, go ahead. Present some more challenges. So far, you haven't busted my bubble yet.